Hi folks, welcome back to Morgan Mondays with me, Andy. It's time for some more Redly Deadly Demption 2. It has been a long time, thanks to Hello Stream, and I had a week off uh, to have a holiday, but we're back, and we're going to be doing Red Dead Redemption 2 on this, the Xbox Series X. I think I got that right. Launch week. Um, so, as a concession to the fact that there's a new console out and I am still playing a two-year-old game, I am playing this on an Xbox Series X, and as a treat for all you folks who are here early, we're going we're gonna to load Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Series X, and we're going to see how long it takes. I've got a timer. I'm going to time this and see how long it goes. Okay, so I'm ready to load my game. Let's see how long it takes, everyone. Go. Right, timer. Timer is going. This is the hot live stream action you expect on a new console launch week. All right, we're up to 10 seconds. If you remember, on a regular Xbox, this takes anywhere between three minutes and a couple of days. So let's see where we get to. 22, 23, 24, 25 seconds. This great Red Dead Redemption launch week content that you guys are all excited for. 33, 34, 35 seconds. 35! 35, 35 seconds that took to load in. Uh, so, yeah, that counts as, um, that technically counts as launch week content. So I can, uh, I can now ignore that for the rest of today and just play Red Dead Redemption. So how's everyone doing? Uh, please let me know how it's going, where you're watching from, what you're up to. Uh, I'm back in Saint Denis, of course. Lovely Saint Denis. Uh, everyone is. I've, I can't really read anything anyone's saying because everyone's just saying Ellen Astro Champ number one. It does sound like something Ellen would say. Um, <laughs> I'm glad that. I'm glad that she finally won that Astro Championship. She has been. Uh, She's been, she's been gunning for that for a while, so I'm pleased. Um, she put a lot of training in, in to her Astro Champ win there. So, good news for Ellen. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah, a lot. Still, Ellen, yep, yeah, I get it. She's the Astro Champ. That's cool. Launch content, then just play Red Dead Redemption. Galaxy Brain Move, Andy. Says it's sorry. Thank you. I thought so. No one, no one can say that this didn't have useful Series X launch week content in it. Um, Christopher Edgar says, Andy, welcome back. Hope all is well. Here's some Lockdown 2.0 snacks funds to get you through from a Scott in Denmark. Thank you very much. Do definitely need some more Lockdown. Actually, I don't need any more snacks. I ate so many snacks last week. Um, Ellery J says, happy 356 days until Halloween. Still Halloween uh, for me. It's always Halloween. Uh, and Nick Jeffrey says, Red Dead Spook Demption starting now. Looking forward to seeing how many horses you slaughter today. But I don't slaughter horses. I don't do it on purpose. Sometimes they accidentally die. Not my fault. Um, all right. We're going we're gonna to put some uh, choose an outfit. So it's time, everyone, for the fashion intro. Alright, so today, today, because Halloween never ends, and because the gang has just moved in to the Disneyland Haunted Mansion, what I'm going to try and do with today's outfit is I'm going to try and put together the uniform for the cast members from Disneyland who work on the Haunted Mansion, because it'll fit into our new surroundings. And also, I think it's very doable with the uh, the clothes that we have available to us. So I would, I'm just going to show you this is what the cast members at Disneyland who work in the Haunted Mansion wear. It's kind of green tailcoat, trousers, and then you've got a sort of purple waistcoat, black tie thing. I think it's going to be very put togetherable uh, based on what we've got. So let's let's do that, shall we? Um, right, I need to change out of my current cool outfit. 
So let's uh, let's go and do that first. Because I'm wearing the, um, I don't know if you remember this, this was a few episodes back, but this is my gunslinger outfit that I put together for when we were doing the, uh, the gunslinger missions. So let's just take this off, because it's too cool for what we're trying to do here. Um, there we go, baseline brawler outfit. So we're going to need a lot of green. I'm not even sure if they're... I'm not sure if I've seen green trousers, but they must exist. They must... They must exist. So let's have a look. Yeah, let's start with the... Let's start with the trousers, work our way up from there. So... Probably... Maybe the town... Town pants? If we can't find green trousers, we're kind of stuck at the first hurdle here, which is... Uh, the fancy ones? You got a green? No... Mustard? <laughs> no, thank you. Um, now, what is maybe the cuffed town. Oh, is that a green? It's sort of a grey, isn't it? That, mm, that might have to do. There's got to be... Oh, here, here we go. Here we go. They're striped. They're not block, but... That's the best we've got so far, the everyday. So, what do you think? Wearing it no. Out? Nothing there. Hmm... Now again, the saddle is sort of ruining it. Now, don't doubt Work yourself. pants, what do you got? Ah, that's not bad. Tell you what, I'm pretty sure there's a green frock coat, so let's match it to the coat. Aren't you guys glad that Morgan Mondays is back? <laughs> Aren't you guys glad that this level of great content has returned? It's not the tail coat, is it? It's the, it's the frock coat. There we go. It's nice green. Okay, now, now, trousers to match. What did we say? The everyday pants? Hmm. They're pretty good. Purple jeans, really. Ooh, they're very green. They're too green, if anything. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. You can really feel the quality of that one, right? Okay, and then the shirt. We want just a classic wing collar. Sorry, stand collar over shirt. Yep, that's good. And then we want a purple vest or waistcoat, as I would say. Um, what have you got in the purple? I think it's the opulent vest that we want. I stand behind everything I sell there we go. That's basically the Haunted Mansion wallpaper. I love it. Uh, we need a black tie. Just a regular tie. Dress tie, yeah. It's good. And then the shoes are just sort of regular shoes. But I think we have some sort of spats or something if i can if i recall yeah there we go wingtip gaiters in black uh yeah i think that should do it let's have a look at how that looks that should be good oh yes arthur You're ready to take me on a tour of the haunted mansion i love it now i could dress this up a bit with some sort of some gloves and a hat i kind of like kind of like how it's looking i'll give it some gloves i'll give it some gloves maybe some suspenders you know treat ourselves why not <laughs> Dwayne g says oh how i've missed that intro have you or does it, in fact, presage me just going on about different colours of trousers for hours? Let's get these riding gloves on. Perfect, perfect. Rascal King says, ghost host outfits FTW. Yeah, right. No problem at all. If you change your Ready to go work the queue. Uh, the other reason I wanted to put this on is because I think the first story mission I'm going to be doing today involves me and Arthur Morgan, not Arthur, I am Arthur Morgan, me and John Marston, um, 
investigating a spooky graveyard at night. You see? Halloween never ends, guys. It's great. Luke T. Simmons says, very glad Morgan Mondays are back, but can you please do more Phasmo and add some intro slash clips for when things happen? Fashion intro music for sexy ghosts. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely could. I don't know how the others would feel about that. I don't think um, they're the biggest fans of my intros, but uh, I, I think Phasmophobia is a uh, real rich uh, environment for musical intros, definitely. I mean, Ray Parker Jr.'s Ghostbusters, but for Phasmophobia. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, oh gosh, got so many super chats. Thanks, guys. Got so much stuff to read here. Um, Gabriella Luzia is a new member. Gentle Mandrill says 35 seconds. Holy, that was fast. I really miss Morgan Mondays. Glad to have you back. Hope you had a great time off. Thank you. I did. I went to the seaside. Uh, I looked at the ocean. I find it's quite uh, rejuvenating just looking at the sea, being near it. You know, you don't have to go out on a boat or anything. Just look at it. It's good. Uh, okay, Dutch is around here somewhere. Um, and we're gonna go and talk to Angelo Bronte, I think, who's the sort of the top crime guy here in San Denis. Oh, there they are. Dutch and John just hanging out. Hey guys. I'm dressed as a haunted mansion ghost host. Hope that's cool. Is that cool? They're used to it by now. Uh, ben Sadler says, I watched Silverado last night with my wife because she hadn't seen it before. While watching it, I realized today is Morgan Monday and I got really excited. Ah, I haven't seen Silverado either. Do you, do you recommend it, Ben? Would you say I should watch it because I've not seen it? But I do love a Western. British Otter says, did you know Obama follows you on Twitter? Yeah. Yeah, me and, me and Barry go way back. He probably um, followed for, you know, hot takes on video games. But I don't really tweet anymore anyway, so... He's probably just waiting for me to drop a fire tweet about Yakuza Like a Dragon, which I have also been playing uh, on, the, on the Series X. Chicken Parmesan says, Happy Morgan Mondays. I'm rejoicing today for President-elect Biden. There is hope again, sort of. My dog is even giddy, light at the end of the tunnel. Ah, I'm keen to hear about this dog. Um, yeah, uh, good to see you back, Parmesan. Thanks for joining. Um, Ambelita says, greetings from the US, where there is a new political dawn. Return of Morgan Mondays is just icing on the cake. Missed the stream so much the past few weeks. Welcome back. Thank you very much. I'm glad uh, I'm glad everyone's enjoying the, the comeback of Morgan Mondays. I was worried everyone would be like, oh, thanks, finally, it's finished. Um, yeah, we stopped for Hello Stream, but we're back, and I will keep doing it for as long as people want to watch it. John Nisbet's a new member. Thank you for joining. Elizabeth Fleming says, I love the Hallow streams, but here's money to celebrate the return of Morgan Mondays. Yeehaw. Thank you very much. Uh, Patrick Long says, Morgan Mondays are back. Missed this. And Lucy Simmons says, very glad Morgan Mondays are back. Oh, wait, I read this one. It's about phasmophobia. If you've got any ideas for phasmophobia intros in the chat, by the way, folks, do let me know. Because I think if I've made them, the others can't really say that we can't include them, can they? Because I've went to all the trouble of making them. So if I just secretly made them... They and they went, hey guys, I've got all this stuff, then they'd have to do it, wouldn't they? So that would be good. So here's Angelo Bronte. He's endearing himself to us immediately by calling us clowns and by kidnapping John's son, who he's probably sick of already. He's probably treating all the horses badly out back, isn't he? Why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir, nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead. Those cores are a nightmare, says Insir. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll do something about them, I swear. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit. Lord Pizza Gamer says, will you be hunting the vampire of Denis? Already done it, mate. Already done it. Got rid of that vampire. Thought he could step to me. You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion? What is this hat that he's got on, by the way? Does anyone, does anyone know what that is? It's sort of, sort of a fez, but not really. I do, I do kind of dig his Gomez Adams vibe. We are simple country folk. Fabio Schwartz says, can we have a little treat from the Skull Rider? Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. That'd be cool. Later on, perhaps, we can do a bit of... Uh, Vigilanteism from the mysterious masked skull rider. No one knows who that is. Dwayne G says definitely an intro for Mike antagonizing ghosts. 
And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. All right, so Dutch is trying to convince Angelo Bronte that we're actually just innocent bystanders, when obviously we're not. Angelo Bronte is not an idiot, so I don't think he's falling for it. But I think he admires Dutch's chutzpah. You know what I'm saying? He admires his guts. He admires his balls. The pleasure is mine. John Marsh. All mine, please. Stephen Donovan says, are you followed by AOC? So, no, I wish. Can my so she was playing Among Us recently. Saw. That would be course, amazing <laughs> to play Among Us with uh, AOC. But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a Nissan? <laughs> Five-star EMF reading intro. Could be a parody of uh, You're Unbelievable by the EMF. No. No, no, cool. no. So how about this? You perform Madhav Girl says, Hey Andy, I've been recently diagnosed with COVID-19 and your streams are a much needed respite from isolation. I'm really sorry to hear that. I hope you get better soon. That's rough. Um, yeah, good luck. Stay strong. Uh, yeah, and hope you get better soon. I love this guy. I love you. And Emil, Emil Van Zyl is a new member. Thank you for joining. Cool name. But they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men. Of course, they run a mile. So maybe... All right, so... Head off, huh? Someone's been doing stuff in the graveyard that Angelo doesn't agree with, messing with his businesses. So John Marston and the Haunted Mansion ghost host are going to head over there. And we're going to sort it out. And look, night has fallen while we, were, we must have been in there a while because it's all spooky now. Um. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to notice any any difference, what with this being on a Series X and all. But um, kind of the only the only differences you probably notice with Series X games at the moment are the loading times, and I guess reflections look a bit better. It's the sort of thing that you actually don't really notice after a little while. So I think the exciting stuff about um, these new consoles. It's going to be the games in the future where you've got bigger open worlds and stuff like that. Whereas at the moment, I think it's going to—it's always going to be slightly underwhelming um, because you know things do look broadly the same if you're not really detail-oriented. Um, I—I can't say that I am particularly detail-oriented myself. I know Mike is, and he's particularly pleased with uh, some of the the lighting effects, all the ray tracing and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I think it's really going to hit me um, when the sort of the next wave of games comes along. So, uh, but yeah, those load times can't argue with that. Thirty-five seconds for Red Dead Two. Grease Lightning. Let's just get this done. The Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Amity Island Fishing Club says, what if you make the music sting from Most Haunted so when something shocking happens you can make it even more dramatic? That's a good idea. We can make it even scarier. Okay. I love it. I think this is it. All right, here's yeah. the graveyard. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Ready to get into it. Me and John Marston. Before we head in, John, just because it's you and me, I would like to play our intro. I hope that's cool. Say nothing if it's cool. We should go oh no, he said something. Here, All right, right, say say nothing now if it's cool. Excellent. All right, here we go. John, I've got one aim To make us best friends by the end of the game Sharing special moments like us robbing a train I hope you feel the same All right, who's ready to explore a spooky graveyard with John Marston? I am. I'm excited. John, I've got one aim. Let's, Let's explore this graveyard and not get killed by get ghosts. Whoa, who's that? Hey! You all saw that, right? Was that a ghost? Ooh. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook them. That's spooky. Consider this dismaying observation. This graveyard has no windows and no doors, apart from the one I came in. And there are others actually on the other side. But apart from that... It's still over there, whoever that is. I'll chase them down. It's, you can, oh no, you're just going to walk, are you, Arthur? You don't want to chase anyone. That's cool. 
Hmm. Some kind of ghost dog. And yet Forrest Whitaker, nowhere to be seen. What have you done with him? I will praise you because you're a dog. But don't try anything this slippery again, all right? Yeah. That's right. John, I've got one aim. To find another dog who is not well, as lame. Make sure they put me deep in the ground. Would yep. No, you'll have a nice grave. Don't worry, it'll be overlooking your ranch. Please gives me the chills. Not that I know. I'm just—it's a guess. I know you don't have a ranch. I'm guessing you will have one. Beaches Hope, probably okay. is what it is. Uh, all right, another disturbance. Why? Let's go and investigate. Stop. Wait, wait a sec. Hold on. Mm. All right, who's causing trouble over here? If it's ghosts, oh, uh, sorry. are you alive? Do you want to stay that way? A bit to drink. Oh, well, that's sad. Died. Well, still, it's not a place to be hanging around at night, friend. You should be on your way. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. All right, Hold nothing up. there. I think I heard something. What? Happy Dozer and Shulak 2 says, Hope you're feeling as refreshed as you look. Missed the last Morgan Monday because I worked a film with the actor who mocapped Crazy Camp Lady from Butcher's Creek and the deluxe bath helper. She says hi. Whoa! The deluxe bath helper? That's amazing. Uh, hi back. That's cool. What a, what a cool thing to have on your resume. I was the woman from Butcher's Creek. And also the d oh, deluxe yeah. bath helper. <laughs> That's a cool thing to bring up at parties. All right, John, what have you found? Is it ghosts? I'll get the proton pack out, by which I mean the bolt action rifle. Ah, oh, spooky bird. Jump. Also, Fire. the graveyard's on fire for some reason. Get in cover, and we'll bust the door in. Oh, they've been camping out. All right. We're going to breach and clear this crypt, this mausoleum. Bam! Have you found my pappy's watch? It's a weird thing to say, John. Whoa! Oh, man. All right. It's going down. You. The graveyard should probably be into this. We're just making more business for them. She oh, God. He's going to cover. All right. They're making a break for it, John. Look out! They're making a run for it. Don't let them get away. You should have paid, Mr. Brunt. Bastards are trying to draw us out. Ah, oh, man. All out of dead eye. Just the wrong time. All right, fellas. Let's wrap it up here. Where are they going? There's one over here. No, I'm not. I'm. I'm in no mood. All right. You're spoiling my nice graveyard walk with John Marston. The John Marston. You know how often that comes up as a possibility? Not very often. Are you... Seriously? Do you want to not? Oh, you want... This, you want, this is what you want, is it? Oh my god, will you stop getting disarmed? Fine, knife fight then. Honestly. Arthur, please. Hopefully John didn't see that. Yeah, John, I shot them all easily, it was fine. Alright, we've got to find the, the stash. Whatever that means. Alright, the first shot us from like... Back over here somewhere, I think. Robin, grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Oh, I'm sorry they spoiled our graveyard walk, John. We'll have to do it again some other time. Oh, where they shot at us from. Right, right, right. Over here. Got it. Mm. Let's quickly check 
check that spot where it yeah, all trying, Oh, off. hang on. What's this? I think there might be something in here. Yep. Good. Got it. Alright, we've got a sash. Now let's get out of here. Oh. Shit. It's the, it's the, it's the cops. Let's go. Maybe we can get out there. No. Locked. I told you. It's Just got no windows and no doors. Alright, let's stick to the outskirts. Come on, John. Quick, this way. Ah! Alright, new plan. Leg it. Oh my god. Why are you locking a cemetery? Now the corpse is going to get out. Is this a door? Probably not. Oh. Wait. Yes! Awesome, quick. I mean, Steedy, sorry. Let's go. John, you alright? I'm pretty sure you are, but I'll see you back at the agreed upon meeting point. We agreed upon a meeting point, right? I hope. Oh my god. Cops everywhere. At least it's a atmospheric night for it. I don't want to shoot any cops. Bounty. Oh, good. Yeah, good. Ride straight past the police station. That's the plan. Come on, Steedy. I will see to your cause in a minute. <coughs> Guys! Oh. Everyone get out of the way. Alright, let's give you... Alright, fine. You can have a carrot. $32.50. How much pomade I could get for that? Oh! How do you see me then? Oh. Alright. Thought I could hide back here, but apparently not. Maybe what it is, is the pro. John! John, I said split up. CD, get back here. Probably what it is, is the processing speed of the Series X is actually allowing the police to move a lot faster. Um, which is how they're able to catch me so easily. Um, they're moving at the speed of uh, the next generation. It's probably that. So as you can see, there was not really nothing I could do with that. Look, I will. Oh my God! They're everywhere. This is unusually persistent. I will say. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Stop in the name of the law, etc. Yeah, Angelo Bronte better appreciate this. He absolutely won't, I'll tell you that. $35. But I don't have to start shooting police officers, right? Because that is going to really rack up the bounty. Let's just leave town. Let's just head out. No jurisdiction. No! There's a whole... Oh, God! Where did he come from? Get off my case! Didn't even do anything. I was just in a graveyard. Those men could have died of natural causes. You don't know. Look, it's foggy. You can't see where I am. God, there better not be a train. Alright, have some horse stimulants. 
Don't get eaten by an alligator. Ideally. Oh boy. Right. I'm literally behind a tree in a swamp. Leave me alone. John, what did I say about splitting up? Looks like we lost it for now. Come on. Let's just get there. <sighs> yeah. Come on. Yes, let's get back to Dutch. Let's get back to Dutch. Now in like France. All right. Well, Auto horse me back. Don't crash into anything. Thank you. Wow. That was a lot. That was a lot going on. Ben Sadler says, I absolutely, absolutely recommend Silverado. It's a movie from 1985. It has Kevin Klein, Scott Glenn's, Kevin Costner, Danny Glover, and other great actors, and is an excellent movie. That sounds great. I'll go check it out. I'm giving myself Carpal Tunnel from escaping the police there. Joshua Lee says, Andy, years ago you teased streaming RDR2 and it only happened this year. Did you Do you save up ideas? If so, what were the most what were you most excited to bring us? Um, I, we were talking about doing D&D &D for ages before we did. I was very excited about that. Um, I think we recorded it months before we ended up putting the video up. Um, and we've got, yeah, we've got a couple of other things um, in the pipeline that I'm excited about that I, we can't talk about yet. But yeah, um, there are a few things I'm, I'm excited about that are going to be coming up in the future. So yeah, look forward to that. Techno Gandhi says, Jerk Santaniites being rude about my cool tricorn hat. How dare. Everyone's rude about the tricorn hat. I don't get it. It's a cool hat. Just because I found it on an old boat somewhere doesn't mean it's not a nice hat. Alfie says, This is for the Andy Appreciation Fund. Thank you very much. Uh, try telling it to the Sandini police force. All right, this way, John. Yeah. And then, God, look at this! Look at this light, though. But then, did it look this good on the Xbox One X? Probably right. did, didn't it? Let's get this done. <sighs> Man. Angelo Bronte. Come on, Arthur. You better appreciate this. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said. Hooray! We got ah. Jack well, Marston back. Let's get going. What a fine man. What a good hey, outcome. Friend, uh, thank You're Mr. Right. Bronte You're for right. everything. Yeah, I'm <sighs> None of your business says nine months sober. Wanted to say thanks to OX for helping me through these early days of recovery. Been a fan for years, but joined in the community after I got sober, so thanks. No worries, thanks for joining, and congratulations on nine months sober. That is an amazing achievement. Well done. A long may it continue. Right, let me just sort my cores out. Before everyone has a go at me. Do I have a cigar? We there we go. Camp set up, Jack. All right. You're gonna love it. Core's doing good. This is good though. When we get um, Jack back, we'll have a big party. And then I'll ruin the party by just roasting Uncle, like way too aggressively and too seriously right in front of everyone, and it'll be awkward. Man, I can't wait. Oh look, John. Jack had a really good time. He had a he had a nice house. He didn't have to live in a tent. What's that? He ate spaghetti. It looks like worms, but it's wow. delicious. The kind of life you could never give him, eh? I would I would say let him stay. Don't call him that, please. You know, Cavallo. He's learning. He's learning foreign languages. He's bettering himself. That's what you want, right? Better life for your son. It's a much better life. With Angelo Bronte, crime lord. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh yeah. I had the best, had the best time. time, and I can't wait to see wait my to see mother. Mama. That's what did I'm excited me? about. She sure did. Also, you, I like guess. You wouldn't know. <sighs> Jack Marston, honestly. 
Uh, Ellery J says, shout out to everyone doing National Novel Writing Month. Yeah, that's cool. Um, how does that work? I don't really know how that works. Do you have to write a novel, like a whole novel in a month, or you just have to start writing one, or like you write a page a day, or how does it work? Because it sounds cool. Annika Brock says, definitely glad we're back. Meant to get a Skull Rider art done for Halloween, but I'm running a bit late, hopefully sometime this week. Oh, that'd be cool. Uh, no pressure, though. But I would like to see more Skull Rider fan art, because Skull Rider rules. Eric Amborski says, remember to talk to Kieran at the party. I don't know why that is. I try not to talk to Kieran if I can, but that sounds cool. I will. For more um, Phasmo stuff, Luke T. Simmons says, how about sound effects too, like Scooby-Doo gang running sounds when you run from a hunt or using the alien motion tracker sound over the EMF? Yeah, that's cool. Good to see you, Jack. Real good to see you. That sounded so sarcastic. Yeah, I caught some bad guys. Which one? Shot some others. At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Oh yeah, I caught them. Yeah. Hey, they're back. I think I see Jack. Have a go. All right. Have a go. Good times. We got you, your son. Antonio Garza says donation for that awesome graveyard He's fight fine. song. This should have been a mission for the Skull Rider. Ah, oh, yeah. That would have been good, wouldn't it? <laughs> Usually doesn't let me wear my mask in story missions because it's too cool and it would ruin you got the game's you got dedication to making me look rubbish. Dutch, look at how they look at how he's dressed. Thank you. That's incredible. I got my son back. Our, our, our son, Jack. Abigail. How are you, Abigail. Boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail. Ooh, Can you I feel the, the emotional turmoil. So, the deep, well, rich layers of character we met Mr. peeling back like an onion <laughs> to reveal a, the, the John Marston onion now. core. Have you ever met an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. <laughs> Zelos Macuso says, what a great birthday so far. Two live streams from my two favorite John, channels. Yeah, I've got to go back and watch um, what Oxford did earlier. It sounded like they were, they were having fun. Boys! We got some work to Nicholas do. Grammer says, hey, Andy, coming at you from the real life San Denis, New Orleans. I feel a bit like Arthur because I, too, am a simple country folk from Oklahoma. Oh, that's cool. I love New Orleans. I love to go back. Um, Thank you, Arthur. But yeah, I uh, hope things are going well over there. Hope, um, hope everyone's handling things OK. Thank you. Uh, it's not too bad. Come on. Lauren Crosby says, got to run, but so glad to have Morgan Mondays back. Have some money for all that sweet extra pomade. And thank you. To the others for all the amazing content over the years. No worries, Lauren. Thanks for joining. Yeah, bronze. What was it? Escape the cops in like 40 seconds, something like that. Not 15 minutes or whatever it took me. Yeah, party. Where's Uncle? You're not invited. All right, time to enjoy the party. Play us something, Javier. Something not obscene, ideally. Aww. These are the nice moments, aren't they? But I mean, all right. Just let me just get the camera. There we go. That These are the nice moments, aren't they? You just... You look around at all your friends. And you can sort of... You can see why people were so willing to give Dutch the benefit of the doubt for so long. So when you, you remember the good times, the community, you think of all the people, you and you and you, not you, and you and you. It's just a great sense of community, something that a lot of these folks never had. Hey, antagonize, it won't let me antagonize uncle. It won't let me ruin the party. Can I choose dynamite? I can't choose dynamite. Cheryl Wilson says, A few of the cast of Red Dead Redemption 2 follow me on Insta. John, Sadie and Bill highlighted my life. I love this game and your Morgan Monday stream so much. Glad to have them back. And you back. Here's some money for you and little Steedy. Thank you very much. That's cool. That would be great. Having... The cast of Red Dead follow me on Instagram. I might start curating my feed just to have that happen. Like specifically target that as a goal. All right, I'm going to talk to Kieran, like I've been told. 
Loitering suspiciously, Kieran, I see. I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, very kind. Oh, Sadie got me something to say thanks for the harmonica. Okay. Thank you. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Yeah, it was good talking to you. I think that's all we're getting out of Kieran. The gang are celebrating. Can you not just lie in the mud? Jack, these clothes are extremely fine. Probably we could sell them and buy food for the camp. Jack, Jack, I'm talking to you, Jack. Jack, please. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, he always, Thanks, always finds a way well, to push my buttons, you little jerk. Well, well, Uncle. Well, no antagonize option, eh? Just like a regular evening for you, Uncle. Well, I try to keep some fun in my life, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's how you stay young, Tahiti. What, you what are you talking about, Tahiti? Mangoes, maidens, paradise. Have you ever even eaten a mango, Dutch? Do you know what a mango is? Yeah, I hope so. Oh my god, this is like the prototypical Dutch Vandalin speech. Mangoes and faith. Is there anything else I can do at this party that I have to do now? Because I don't want to miss anything. I'm sorry if I was Happy Miss Grimshaw. Anyway, I got caught by some very country well sheriff done, stealing Arthur. a chicken. I think Let's it was. And he decided I was going to be hanged for it. Who's telling this story about being hanged? A chicken? Yes. I think it's Hosea. Only some folks. All right, that's fine. I was going to say if it was Uncle. <laughs> that was a shame they didn't get through with it. Ellery J says, Nano Rimo is to write 50k words in a month. Wow, that is a lot of words. Cool if you're doing it, though. That's very impressive. Nanyo Bidness says, being a big fan, I've done a two minute cover of Corazon O Corazon. That's cool. Where is it? Where can I hear it? I'd love to hear it. All right, I guess. Everyone's just gonna hang out, so I should just go to bed, and then in the morning I can do more stuff. I've got a bedroom now, though. That's pretty cool. Manish Ghosh says, "I love Javier in this game, and sometimes I wonder what turned him into whatever he was in RDR One." I know, right? I think that's the sort of the biggest change out of all the characters, because Dutch is still a jerk. Bill is still a jerk, but Javier is actually pretty good in this. And in uh, Red Dead Redemption 1, a real, real desperado. All right, I'm going to sleep. Keep it down out there. Some of us are trying to sleep. I'm going to shave, actually. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Real bed, roof over my head. Things are looking up for old Arthur Morgan. Not the wardrobe, just the. Oh my god. Like, look at. The bed, Arthur, the bed. Thank you. The one who snacks says Dutch's Christian metal band equals mangoes and faith. That's a pretty good band name. <sighs> All right, so we've done the graveyard mission. So a letter has arrived for me. And I'll be that Mary. Where do I pick up my mail in this camp? Even know. Um, all right, let's let's put some pomade on. Because if I'm not wearing a hat, I at least want to have some pomade on. 
Oh, there it is. Let it. Got it. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you. Ah, she wants to thank us for helping Jamie. get her brother out of that cult, which is pretty cool. Arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going. Why can't I change and be a man and put down all Whatever these fantasies happened, that shroud my judgment? I it's a great question. Saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, uh, she needs my help. I have made she needs my help again. Of my life, time and again. And now to dramatically leap out of the window. That's how I get up in the morning. <laughs> morning. How's it going? How are you? What do you think, folks? Should we uh, should we help out Mary? Uh, Arthur's former flame, yeah. who I think we've established previously is bad. If I walk off a cliff, will you keep following me? Oh no, that's the one where you go to the theatre with her afterwards, isn't it? And it's like the most awkward thing. Shall we do it? Say in the chat what you reckon, if we should go and help out Mary Linton or not. Okay, Von Blade says yes. Kari Dennison says go to her, Arthur, show her how great you are. How have you been, Arthur? Okay. You seem well, Reverend. Yes. I'll get... Well. Ezekiel says no, F her. Do you want to put some clothes on or stop talking to me? I went into town. Not now, Reverend. I'm real sorry, but I can't talk right now. Okay. Sorry. No problem. Uh, there's a lot of yeses. All right. We'll go and help out Mary Linton. Dressed like a cast member of the Haunted Mansion. But we've got other... Oh, I need to pay off this bounty as well. That looks like a cool mission. Alright, let's do this Hosea mission, because it looks cool. And then, then, we'll help out Mary. Alright, so that's the plan. For the next bit of this live stream. We're going to help... We're going to do Hosea's mission, where we get to dress up and smoke cigars. According to the picture. And then... After we've done that, then it's time to get joked around by Mary Linton. All right, cool. Cool. Plan. Good plan. What's up, Hosea? Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're going to make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linden's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Signor Bronte, that horrendous snake has... Oh, yeah. Life. Society oh, party. Cinderella. All right, I'm glad we chose this one. We're going to go to a fancy society party. Good thing I pomaded my hair. That could have been embarrassing. You see, the good times. Remember the good times, folks, that we had? Remember the time we went to that party? No, 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 no. God, we all look great except Bill. Real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Top me up, folks. It's time for the big society party. Oh, yeah, Gentlemen, Dutch. Loving the top hat. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. After last year's incident. Look here, we'll take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. All right, Follow Dutch looks vaguely you. ridiculous with that stovepipe. Jose looks great. Bill looks like an idiot. And Arthur obviously looks amazing. Do I get to keep this outfit? Because this jacket is dope. White tie and the... Oh, my God. Really? With the mustache? Yes! Alright, nice place. I've lost, oh man, I've lost Dutch already. I'm coming. I 
Hat. Oh man, I would love to shoot that hat off. That'd be so cool. Dutch's hat doesn't look like it fits properly. I will say. Looks like it's balancing on the top of his head. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboys, you've arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure. Dutch looks, I've, so I've come around on Dutch. I think he looks Sanity ludicrous. I think he looks <laughs> like a yes, stupid idiot. Apparently so. And all these Arthur people, looks he, great. These are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. <laughs> no, 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 not quite, not quite. Yes, That's my dead eye core. Of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. Henri Lemieux. <laughs> do anything for a dollar, and I oh, yeah, there's... Is that guy here the, the, um, the exotics trader? Oh, and that Algernon one, Wasp. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation yeah, out on the island, and he... Comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> I hope Dutch didn't spend all our gang savings oh, oh, on that, that hat. That is Hobart Crawley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero they say, but that this is his very yes. young yes. wife. I mean, a young man. That's the thing we should focus on. Of things. Yes, but their young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy. Oh, it's this guy. Um, <laughs> is, Ray, is it Rain's fall? To get tricked by the Americans. No. <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> and Eagle Flies. And yes, the letter to the Those guys are good. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> <laughs> and that. That is Hector Fellows. Mm. This self man, we're paper man. meeting all the maybe, maybe you will kill him high society of Saint Denis. Well, we're not paid killers. Turns such. out they're all terrible. Cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taking. None taken. <laughs> a theme of the wild says, Hey, Andy, I've been loving my playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2 and antagonizing Uncle as much as I can until I heard him and Pearson talking about their childhoods, and now I just can't bring myself to. Well, luckily, I have never heard that, so I can just carry on roasting him directly to his stupid face. So that's good. That's a good time. Um, yeah, I, don't wanna, I don't want to find out anything that will make it harder for me to roast Uncle. So yeah, I'll be avoiding that. Uh, William Kruger says, I love how you burn Mary and Uncle so much, even though most of the side characters in this game are better than Arthur in almost every way. William, what are you saying? Exactly are your plans. Yeah. William, how can yeah, how I could you? Well, Unless I mean I presume that's the way that William played him. We are going to need Just a bad money. guy. Money. Whereas yes, of course. he has a redemption well, there's, arc. There's it's redemptive. The they keep a lot of cash it's the point the of the game. Now, I could that he was bad and then he becomes good. Whereas Uncle is just bad. As a guest, he starts yes. bad, continues as bad, and then he's bad, bad at the end. It, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> No, Ravani, just admiring okay, my level I five mustache. No <laughs> yeah, it took a took a long time. It took a long time to to get it to that level. Unless you weren't talking about my mustache, in which case I would I would encourage you to take a look at my mustache. Right, where are we going? What am I doing? Looting the place? Oh no! All right, fine. Follow Dutch. Sure, not a problem. Amitar Bhagavan says, Hey Andy, I've recently made minis of the Ox Ventures. How should I send them to you because of quarantine? Uh, drop us a line on Twitter. I think we've just set up a PO box, possibly. I'm not sure if that's happened yet, or if it is happening, or if it might happen. But yeah, drop us a line, um, and hopefully we can look at... Hopefully we can sort that out. Look at Bill and his trousers. Not even the right length. Well, the, and the sleep... How come everyone else managed to find clothes that fit them, Bill? It's really so hard. Bill. All right, time to do some high society mingling. Take champagne, yes. That's what I need to do. Where is it? 
Hello. One champagne, please. Thank you. Now, who needs talking to? Pretty sure Algernon Wasp is here. Not that, you know, I'm probably going to do any exotic hunting because it's a gigantic hassle. Hmm. Bill, please. Just try and blend in if you can. Uh, I mean, that's him, right? Oh, he's choking. I'll help you. Yep, here's a move I call the Arthur maneuver. You're welcome. Um, in return, I will take that hat or possibly that waistcoat. Either would do. Tacitus Kilgore, what a name. Hello, Mr. Kilgore. No more, what is it that, uh, that you do? Um, uh, I'm an adventurer. Tacitus Kilgore, the adventurer. Oh, me too. Just the most interesting Mr. person at this party. And the remarkable. An seat in this land of commonplace heathens. Well, have you considered... My card, sir. National Bank. Oh, I need a... Big bank, sir. We borrow a lot Let's take a look at this person. And generate a lot of cash. Some nervous small town bank could finish us. Oh, business card. Visit Thanks. Come and right. visit you in your atelier. I must just go and purge. Actually, I think I robbed his atelier earlier. No one was manning the till, you see. Uh, right, now to do more mingling. I dropped my champagne heimlicking that guy. Get some more. Bill just blending, blending so well. Dude. I don't have any of this champagne. Where'd that guy go with the drinks? What a vulgar toad of a man. But that riverboat sounds interesting. Did you hear him back there? The law should be a dictator? I wasn't really listening. Lucky for you. And as for that other fellow, Featherstone Chambers, what a mm -hmm. winner he is. He did seem full of himself, too. Anyway. All right, who else we got? Uh -oh, would you like tickets? Ah, here we go. Time to insert myself into the mayor's inner circle. It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make God, it so joke. goddamn distinguished, Arthur. Idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> Between all these <laughs> folks, there's like one full beard. I think. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? Yeah, let me just uh, Get your hands off me. <laughs> frog march this guy out of the party. Come on, sleep it off. All right, okay, God damn it. Yeah, and stay out. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Oh, fine, I can aggressively ruin this party, but not the Jack Welcome Home party. I see how it is. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. Mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. A writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Oh. He's just having a nice evening. Excuse me, Father. Excuse me, Father. Uh, Monsieur, please. Excuse me. 
Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent. Oh, here we go. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a Time horse. Time for some And a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Well, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in the in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. All right. Now it goes all splinter cell. Dun, 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 stealth. Dun. Oh, come on. Let me crouch. I guess that would be kind of suspicious. Just tailing at a discreet distance. Oh, I want to watch the fireworks. Yeah, so did Arthur. Look. All right, I know. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men. All right, good. Guards left. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Okay. When did you say you're looking for the toilet? That would probably work. Where's he going? Your mind. Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look <laughs> dun, dun, at me. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> Who do you think you are? Stop. This I mean, that's bad. The likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. Right, where's he going? This is a final warning <gasps> to you, miss. A final warning. <gasps> Get out of my sight. Is he coming this way? No, good, all right. Oh, he's going upstairs, cool. All right, let's go. A simple case. Yes. All right, quick. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Look at this cool espionage action that's going on. There's got to be something else I could steal in here, right? What's this? All right, the mayor and Angelo Bronte are in bed together, not literally. Anything I can steal? Arthur Vision, you got anything for me? No? It's probably bad form, isn't it? To go to a society party and then just ransack the host's office. All right, let's get out of here before we're made. Hello, I wasn't doing anything suspicious, you were. But I'll keep quiet about it because I'm cool. <coughs> All right, I think that I went well. Think? I think so. Nothing. 
This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. A lot of people saying maybe literally. Gentlemen. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I think we're done here. It's entirely possible. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank. Maybe. And a stuffed one. Are we leaving? We're gonna leave. That could be the one I mean, now that we've got the info, we could just hang around, right? Enjoy the party. When are we gonna get invited back to a soiree at the mayor's with free champagne? Poker game. Come on. Ah. Well, I could stay. Me and Hosea could stay. And you two go back. How about that? Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all yeah, my Yeah, we never life. looked so awkward either. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? The Dutch has waxed his mustache. The people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Rudy Gerber says, also, leaving now is sus. I know, right? You should just hang around. Get hammered. Interesting times. Get hammered on champagne. Yes. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are going to run some distractions. See how the law... Why have you put that hat on? Good. It's not oh, part of the and I outfit. Spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. But there are very yeah, few I'm times where I will allow you to wear that hat, He's Arthur. Officials in San Denis it's on horrible and old and got a rope on it. Could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot oh, of money. the riverboat mission where it forces for you to shave. Him at the okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. Why have you put that hat on? It doesn't go with the outfit. Home. Where is home? Who gave you permission? Know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. All right. Well, robbing the trolley is a super bad idea. What have we got? Just Mary Beth, is it? Oh no, Trelawney. There we go. All right. Okay. So. I do want to do the riverboat mission because it's fun, but I don't... Well, let me just take this hat off first. For God's sake, man. What were you thinking? Right, how about... How about this? How about... I chug a bunch of hair tonic, which isn't in this, of course. Why would it be in there? How about I chug a bunch of hair tonic, grow a beard... And then, then I can shave it off. It'll be fine. Um, God, I never remember where it is. Or if I even have any. Hmm. Might not have any. I don't need to shave much, right? Let's just go to sleep. So I'm not... I'm not letting you take my mustache, Trelawney. Uh, yeah, till night. Yeah, Von Blade has it right, I think. You don't have to shave it off, you just have to shave something to some degree. <laughs> well, <laughs> something on your face to some degree. It's not... <laughs> You don't get that thorough an in, in inspection when you go to the riverboat. All right, sleep again. Sleep again. Get some stubble. Get some st Arthur. Get some stubble, or else I can't. I can't save your mustache. Sean Carr says you don't actually have to shave anymore. Is that true? If that's true, then good work, Rockstar. Listening to the people. The important. The very important issue here. Will you just look at the bed? Thank you. Oh, I can't sleep. 
All right, well, well. All right, well, let's just head over. Shatter my ankles on the way down. And then we can, uh, we can see if it's true that you don't actually have to shave anymore. Because that would be great. All right. William Kruger says, you don't need to shave for the Riverbow mission, just hair pomade and you're done. P.S. Don't knock Arthur's original hat. Um, I'm sure it was very nice when it was new. I myself own a hat that has a rope around the crown, but it's just a bit tatty, is all I'm saying. You get so defensive, like I'm doing right now. All right, Trelawney. Well, let's pay off this bounty as well, because that's bad. That's bad times. Um, oh, God, I could have fast traveled, couldn't I? It's fine. I'll, I'll have a look at the chat while I ride over. Yeah. You can't possibly expect me to keep the 7,000 different systems operating in Red Dead Redemption 2 at any one time straight in my head. All right, off you go. Kevin Smith says the beard will be back in Guama. Yeah, nothing you can do about that, unfortunately. Frodo Baggins says, you're unable to sleep so soon after successive sleeps. Shows what you know, game. I can do that any time I want. Yeah. So yeah, it seems like you just have to sit in the, um, in the chair now, which is cool. And they don't force you to mess with your carefully cultivated look. I mean, I get it if you have got like a giant um, wild countryman beard and sort of straggly hair, they'll probably be like, why are you on this gambling riverboat for gentlemen, sir? But if you're rocking a cool handlebar moustache and slick pomaded hair, shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Laura Dini says, definitely need a fashion police button with all this chat. That's right. So this is the mission that unlocks the super clean shave option, I think, which again is is weird because you can't you can't do it for just the chin; you have to do it for the whole face. Which again, I don't really understand how that works. Hello. Come on, pick it up. Yeah, clean, I think clean-shaven Arthur is kind of weird. Not as weird as shaved head Arthur. And actually, I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever seen clean-shaven, shaved-headed Arthur. But I, I'm trying to imagine it right now, and I can't think of a worse image. It's like cursed. Yeah, no thank you. Hey, how much for breaking into a graveyard, shooting four guys, and then uh, evading you? the police? How much for that? Thirty-seven fifty. Bargain. Square. Cheap, but twice the price. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yep. All right, Trelawney. I am excited about this mission because I think you get a different tie. <laughs> so, <laughs> like a scarf thing. So, that's exciting. Unique clothing options. Egg Arthur is banned. <laughs> Jacob LA. Egg Arthur is, <laughs> is excellent. Wildcard1 says do it, to which I countered no. <laughs> I will not. Trelawney, buddy. Where are you? Oh, 
Oh, I guess I'm waiting until <laughs> data. Wow. Pulls back and there's just like 50 cigarette butts on the floor. Oh, there you are, my dear boy. Yes, Whoa. here I am. Let's close line that guy straight well, through we're the going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Yeah, oh no, get yeah, get me smartened uh, up a bit. Look at me. At oh, you can't possibly like play yeah. poker no, on a gambling riverboat so looking like this, dear no boy. You're there to rob the place. Now, come on. I look we're great. What are you talking about, Trelawney? We're going to fix you up so fine. That is an absolutely wild thing. thing to say to a person dressed like me. Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is a fine three piece town suit, you say. Don't mind if I do. Look like the Duke he really is. Yes, 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 yes. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter. <laughs> Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Alright. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. Let's get a look at this. Quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, yep. it's not much of an action. Yep, pretty happy with that. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. I quite like Trelawney. Uh, well, I've decided. Armed robbery don't seem such an innocent He's a sort of pastime. Terry Thomas-esque scoundrel. But we. I can appreciate you? that. All of us will be done here soon. Kikahoko says, if I worked at Rockstar, I would make a level where you were forced to wear some terrible outfit just to make Andy angry. It's, it's unkind. Why would they do that? They should make a mission where you, if you do a really good outfit, you get a, an achievement. How about that? Yeah, let me just get in the chair. And then, am I as... And learned himself trimmed as I could be. I am. So. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. What if I trimmed not the um? Not if they're going to let him play big at I the, the length here. tonight. Go a bit more revolver ocelot. No, I like the long hair. I like it. What do you say to that, Trelawney? What do you think about that? Make him look like yeah. a. Very smart. Very, yes, very smart, Come exactly. On. Let's get to the docks. I yeah. arranged some transportation. I don't know how lucky you just got, Trelawney. If you forced me to touch this mustache. George! To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad? Prince. Wes Carroll says, hi Andy, any chance of a birthday shout out? Happy birthday, Wes. Coach. Hope you have a good one. We can't win any up there I will win some money like on the riverboat in your honor. You're a brash oil man. Money to That's me, a brash. I do kind of look like a brash oil man, I guess. Maybe that could be my um, fake name, Brash Oilman. Hey, howdy, folks. My name's Brash Oilman. Struck. Texas tea out in the oil fields, and I'm here to flash my newfound wealth here at the gambling tables. I don't understand how to play poker, but I got a lot of money, and I have confidence in my ability. That's hard. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him. How does he know what cards I got? He won't. 
<laughs> Lojo pointing out that uh, IO Interactive have already trolled me in one of their video games with a horrible cocktail recipe. I'm not sure if I want it to become a trend of video game developers deliberately putting things in their game to troll me personally. That seems, seems like a bad trend. What money am I playing with? Don't worry, that has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Ah, there she is. Come on. <clears throat> okay. Arthur, all right. Leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. That's cool. Yes, the gun belt was sort of ruining the lines of the outfit luck, anyway. In his new turn. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. All right. There they are. The Gentlemen, grand... How wonderful to see you. Corrigan? Corrigan? What does that say? Pair of boys we met in New York? Oregon, I think. Come on, Jim. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. Gentle Mandrill says brash oilman intro when. <laughs> Should have done it before this episode, really. If I knew what was going on. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Drinks are on brash oilman. Who is me? I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever <laughs> you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? All right. Time to cheat at poker. This will be fun. Are you joining us? Hello there, fellas. My name is Brash Oilman, and I have so much money it's almost embarrassing. I made it off in oil and farming mangoes in Tahiti. Turns out it's very lucrative farming mangoes. Alright, my cards. A nine and a jack. Strauss says no, so I fold. I instantly fold. Not interested. Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. Well, I'm Brash Oilman, the mango and oil king. You should have. <laughs> What's better than a king? The emperor of oil. I drank everyone else's milkshake. Mr. Blythe yep, wins. definitely wouldn't queens. have won that. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, well, Mr. Mr. Blythe, I play poker well, like I farm mangoes in, in Tahiti. Man. I'm an oil man. I'm an oil man. Money. Money is fresh oil man. Oh, and I'm an oil real. man. <laughs> you know, oh. All right, what have we got here? Let's look. Two queens. I don't even need to look at Strauss, but I will anyway. Yes, he says. I would stick to oil. I raise you. I'm all in. Have a future on the I'm all in. You sound just like my wife. Oh, you're all in as well, are you? All right, well. Interesting. Hair cowgirls. All right, community cards. What have we got? Pair of queens wins. 400 Shit. smackaroonies, buddy. Shit. Yeah, rake them in. Like a big, fresh crop of mangoes. 
Meaning? Some said it was a bad idea to make a company that only sold two things, oil and mangoes. It worked out well for me, Brash Oilman. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Sir, Real I say sir. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Worth more than me? Brash Oilman, the president of the okay. Brash Oilman Oil and Mango Company? I don't think so. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, Fig. Oh, Man. yeah, Levy C. Oh, me and him go way back. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his. Left Master C. <laughs> Pair of kings. Nothing beats that. I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, Strauss. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yep. Strauss is signaling to go all in. Well, nothing uh, good old two kings, nothing beats it. Pear king. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God That's right. Damn you. Weren't expecting that, were no you? None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion. Are there any mangoes around here? I found this watch. It's upstairs. And if not, can I sell you some mangoes? Through my company, Brass Almond Oil and Mango Concern. I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, All right. sir. We want a fancy Reutlinger watch. Let's go, and, uh, let's go and get it. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> All right, well, this guy's bad. Times. So First, I'll feel less bad when I shoot him in a second. Gun, That's good. Fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Oh. Oh, he's, he's hard. Next, we'll he's got a gun and everything. Negroes. All right. You, you go maybe the length of this 30-second walk up to the safe without Next, saying anything racist. Like this watch, I think you can manage I that. It earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. All right, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Oh, of this is fancy. Take your time. Yes, Javier, nice. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun. Now to disarm the pit boss. You and your fancy little gun. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> now don't try anything funny. I mean it. I genuinely mean it. Don't try anything funny. I mean it. All right. Remember what I just said. Don't try anything funny, or you'll get shot. All right. Yeah. We good. We good. All right. What I just say? What did I just say? Now you've been shot in the neck by me, Arthur. I mean, Brash Allman. No one he's not going to tell him when he's dead. Quick, uh, right, quick, safe, yes. Looting, looting the safe. Can't that had gun. How armed he did he need to be? Was good. he planning on dual wielding? Alright, good times. Good times. Let's go. Come on. Let's go meet the Probably sure. someone heard that, though. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Like one. Come on. Oh, here they come. We have one mission go well. We don't end up having to shoot our way out. How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us. No, I, okay. Now that that plan 
I would absolutely love to see. Please let that be the escape plan. Please. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor. All right. The drinks are on Brash Orman. Free mangoes for everybody. Woo! Yeah, Brash Orman. He's getting mangoes for everyone. Free pints of oil on the bar. Help yourself. Black gold, Texas tea. So, Trelawney, have you been managing to keep a low profile or have you actually been getting into loud arguments with... Now, don't be a sore loser, people. Friend. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like Slap him with your glove. You. Challenge him to a duel. Good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Oh, here we go. Come on, Roger. We gotta get out of here. This is always going to end this way. Yeah, this is a lot more than five guards, Strauss. Also, it doesn't help that Javier is dressed exactly like the people I'm trying to shoot. That's uh, not ideal. Oh no, someone nearly shot Trelawney. Imagine if someone accidentally shot Strauss. That would be desperately tragic, wouldn't it? Oh, Javier, will you... Okay, good, they shot his hat off. That oh, we're just... Alright, we're just jumping into the sea, are we? Cool. Hope that Reutling is waterproof. Oh, my new three-piece suit. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few I mean, that is pretty good. Think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, apparently it's worth <laughs> Barrett the Green says, when are they going Switch. to figure out they're really bad at robbery? Nice I, don't, I don't know if they are. Yeah, yeah it's a Reutlinger, it's a all right. All you right. can tell, by the way, it was ruined by being submerged there. in right. water. Come on, let's get out of here. Jedi Spartan 38 says, started a new game for Red Dead Redemption 2's second anniversary and trying for 100%. Great to see Morgan Monday's back. Can we get a full space as a celebration? I don't see why not as a special treat. $6,000? 750 for old Arthur. That's pretty good. Not complaining about that. Um, yeah, let's have a... Let's have a space. Why not? Let's enjoy that. I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space! So Tim Curry there. A shining beacon of light and hope to all the peoples of the world. Hope he's doing all right. Head still rolling. All right, that was some good times. Now, now to go and see Mary Linton, which is what I said I'd do. So let's go and get dressed for our date, our Arthur date. All right, Taylor. Look out! Auto horse, are you gonna are you gonna run over a cop? Are you gonna do something stupid? No, all right, good. The Endless Optimist says, Words can't say how helpful Oxboxer has been in keeping my mental health up through 2020. Can't thank you enough for all you and the others have done. Um, no thanks necessary. Just glad that um, glad you're hanging in there. I know it's been a rough year. Um, but things are, look, things are looking up. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed. Let's all, end, let's all end 2020 strong. Right. Now, now to get dressed for this date. 
We can't go there looking like we work at the Haunted Mansion. Hello. Good to have you. She'll, she'll know that we won't be able to dedicate our full attention to the relationship because we'll be spending too much time hanging around in the Haunted Mansion. What about this outfit? Oh no. What? No. Why are you selling this, this bad outfit? Come on, Sandini Taylor. I thought you were better than this. What the hell? Absolutely no. <laughs> I mean, I mean, sure. People around here come in. It surfing says, "Don't jinx it. Say it looks bad." Yes, no, actually, bad. It's bad. Let's, yeah. Boo. Um, right. God, we're gonna have to build an outfit from the ground up here, so we're gonna go back. All right then. But if there was anything, let's have another fashion intro around. while I do that. It'll be right. <laughs> Okay, so what are we thinking? Uh, what are we thinking for the date, folks? What do we reckon? What kind of things should we wear for um, sorting out all of Mary's problems, and then and then the theatre? It's a two-stage date, like dinner and a movie. Um, all right, all right. Well, let's get the the sort of the standard baseline down, which is usually. Some nice fancy pants. Some nice boots. And of course, we're going to want riding gloves, as always. And those multi tone half chaps, you know it. There we go. <clears throat> Now, in a previous, um, the best in, my shop. Buy from me in a previous stream, we had the stand collar overshirt, but open with that cool coat that I have. Let me go. Mm. Let me go back to the wardrobe. What we're trying to do here is to we're trying to project. An aura of what's what? Are, what is the aura we're trying to project? A sort of aloof detachment. We're obviously we're doing great without Mary. Obviously, we don't need we don't need Mary in our life. We're doing just fine without her. But also, you know, we're we're a rugged, uh, rough and tumble outdoorsman. You get stuff done, you know what I'm saying? So, where was that? Yeah, so you see, we were wearing this previously, which is quite, it's not like overly flamboyant, but, um, but it's got like a nice sort of flair to it. Like, you know, this is somebody who cares about what they're wearing. I don't think these trousers go with it, so I will just swap them out for... That might be too many checks. Yeah, let's just go with those. Where do my half chaps go? Oh, there they are. All right, cool. Um, right, yes. Fine leather suspenders, thank you. I'm going to take, obviously take this bandolier off. That sends the wrong message. I guess I can't take off all my guns. That would be foolish. But still, yeah, that's looking good. Um, might change the color of the gloves. Something a bit lighter. Yeah, so we, 
I like that. We've got like a little bit of flamboyance in the um, the red accents on the collar. But also, you know, we've got the, the shirt is open, indicating a sort of devil may care attitude. Uh, yeah, all right. Good day to outfit. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me and no hat. Never be disappointed. Because we're on a date. Trying to look nice. Yeah. Digging it. Alright, Mary. What do you want us to do this time? Who's been indoctrinated into a cult? Where's my horse going? <laughs> Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen meets Hulk Hogan, says Tim Lawrence. Oh wait, just him. That was the Lawrence part from the Lawrence Llewellyn. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's certainly unique. Hold up there a moment. Why should I, why, why hold up? What do you want? Hey, mister. Hello. Oh, was it not you? Was it this guy? Look where you're going. What brings you to this fine town? Prophet oh, it's a Lemoyne Raider. Oh, Look, I don't want to shoot you here in front of everyone. It's just gonna be a hassle. You looking for a volley of musket fire? This is Lemoyne. All right, I'm not gonna get into a fight with this guy because otherwise, I'll get blood all over me and I'm going on a date. Although maybe I could just lightly trample him with my horse. That would be. Hey, watch where you're going. That would probably be a better way of doing it, wouldn't it? Let me just... Oh, no, there's a cop right here. Okay. Whew, that was close. Don't you push me. I said get out. See you later, idiot. I'll leave when I damn well right, got a little antagonize in there. That's good. Half a moving away. Yeah. All right, let's see what Mary's got herself into. Katie Douglas says Lemoyne Raiders suck and need shooting in the face. I know, but I would love to. Sh I would absolutely love to shoot him in the face. But there was a cop right there, and I'm supposed to be going on a date. I don't want to turn up all shot and with the police chasing me. Mary would be like, "What's this? I thought you changed." She didn't think I changed. She never thinks that. Arthur. What's that? I'm just on my way to I'm the big here. important business meeting. Oh, Mary, fancy seeing you, you here. Came, came yeah. to, oh, the Hotel Grand. Mary. That's what you said in your letter. So I only yeah. just got around to, to reading it. I have so many important business down. meetings. I'm the head of a very prestigious mango and oil company, you see. Um, you can probably tell from my flamboyant coat. You look great. Don't worry about it, Arthur. Yes, you'll notice I'm very handsome. You came. Sure. Whenever you call no, for don't. me, I'll come. No, don't. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Come on, Daddy. Arthur. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than Ice I Ice Dinosaur Plays says, hi, I'm new. Well, thanks for joining. Thanks for dropping by. I hope you enjoy. I'm begging you, Arthur. Uh, Peter Smith says, hi, Andy. Oh, no, love Morgan Daddy, Mondays. First one I've, se uh, you, I've seen live as my fiancé and I have been isolating this past week. We're back to work tomorrow. Um... Cool. Hope that means everything's uh, all clear, and uh, it's good news. Enjoy work tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so it seems that during the time it took me to read that comment, they've now devolved into having an argument. So it's good. It's a good relationship. Jamie joining a bunch of crazies. It's good. Hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling. Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Good. Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. So, how's everyone sure. doing? I am. I should have asked someone else. Maybe we've got all date dressed up for this. I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. And my mango and oil company could be it suffering. That I didn't love you. Without Arthur. me at the helm. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. 
We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. She only gets in touch yeah. when she wants something, doesn't she? It all seems so. Arthur is so long pure. Ago, far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Well, friends, help Mary. Don't help Mary. Please. What do we think? You came all this way. She's she makes the point that I have come all this way. The help Mary is starting to fill on its own. <laughs> all right, fine, I'll help you. Come along, Dan. I guess maybe that represents Arthur's natural inclination, which is to help. Been up to now. So. Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Filthy, the filthy rider. rider. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous hey. ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should Trying I to help here. To Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. Call me a pompous Suffers ass. Enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. Anyway, I, I can only help out for a bit. I've got to get back to the years ago. oil. Well, you wouldn't. No, and mango field and factory that I own where they refine but the mangoes down into a kind of oil. Well, it's very it's complicated. You won't understand it, Mary. I've been working very hard to build a better life for myself and also for any lady companion that I have who isn't you yet. Well, you is he being mean to me right to? now? I'm not sure. He keeps Just saying I'm a changed a man. I'm good. A man of his standing, that's the right I very rarely crash into nag. people with my horse these days. Standing. Usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. What's good? Drinking and gambling more How about that, Mary? Is that exciting? Things off left and right. Was that did that offer you a glimpse of a, th a thrilling outlaw life? How about this? Don't worry too much. No? Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Pretty good staying on side saddle though. All right, let me just uh, draw some of my more powerful long guns from the horse. There we go, semi-auto shock. Just in case Daddy's managed to get himself into some pr problems that only a semi-automatic shotgun can solve. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. Can't stand there. What in the street? Yes, in the street. I don't know if you've noticed this semi-automatic shotgun. Just get out of here. That I'm carrying, friend. Why? I said, just get out of here. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm waiting on the lady. <laughs> Take a walk with me, friend. Just Take a walk with me and my automatic shotgun. I wasn't waiting on this lady. You'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired? And I no Imagine if she did come out and Arthur had just killed again. She'd been in, like, less than I a minute. Leave me you me. didn't see him, Mary. He asked me to move. I had he no won. choice but to put 17 bullets in him. Ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. All right. Okay. I would probably fail the mission, wouldn't I, if I were to just... just in case. This way. I've heard yeah, that probably. one before. He went around the corner. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. All right. It's the kind of high-stakes cowboy action you come for. Tailing a drunk man through an industrial estate. Oh. Hold on. You can see what 
Hey, stop a second. You're too close. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, hmm. come on. Yes. We just went between those crates. Still warm. He can't be far. Come here, quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry. Awkward. Hey, think you saw it. I don't think so. No. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! All right. That was good. We didn't get spotted. And we got to put our face close to Mary's face, which is almost like kissing if you think about it. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. Chicken Parmesan says, can What's we leave Mary and Mrs. Let's Marston behind and just ship Arthur and John as the outlaw couple of the Wild West? Yes, I think I'll we can. Show you a good time. I think that we can and should. Here. Right, here we go. He's going to do something. He's gonna do something and then we'll have it we'll absolutely have him nailed. What's he doing? What do you think he's, he's doing? He's being well, dressed very here, badly, Mary. Waiting for a woman of dubious morals. He's dressed horribly. So, Worse than Bill Williams anyway. You got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. That's a family heirloom, I expect. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable You hate to see it? Interest. No, thank you. Absolutely hate to see it. to folks who take loans. It's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch. Oh, here we go. How could you? You. That's theft. Speaking of thieves, who's this incredibly turned out gentleman? Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. With violence. Anyone, Arthur? <laughs> that was that was a great little stumble around the corner. All right, don't know where Steedy is, so I'll just say this one. Steedy. All right, Steedy, follow along. You might be helpful. All right. You hear me? Stop the damn coach. Come on. Come on, bad weird horse. Faster. All right, Steedy, pull up alongside and I'll jump on you. No! <laughs> that is not that is not what I was going for. It's fine though, Steedy, come on. See what happens when you aren't there, when I need you around? This is your fault, Stevie. I'm blaming you. See, now we catch it. Looks like I'm in charge now, Mr. Broach Thief. Or, I guess Mr. Broach, he was just in the lead. 
legitimately bought. But all right, when we when we get back to Mary with the brooch, all right, we'll tell her that um, we'll tell her that it was very cool and graceful. We won't mention the bit where we fell off the horse into the river. Yeah. We'll keep that uh, that bit off the official record. All right, Ashton. Get out of there. You can do this the easy way or the hard way. It's already a bit the hard way. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. All right, what have we got? The semi-auto. Where do you want it? It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Oh, fine. So nice. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna Steady, pay for get this. over here. I bought it fair and square. I'm gonna be all covered in swamp water for the date now. The worst. That's going, bro. All right, where are we going? <laughs> Here. Okay then. Ah, oh, auto horse for me. Thanks very much. William Kruger says you need to start putting together a blooper reel of Morgan Monday's best moments. That was particularly spectacularly bad. That was that would definitely that would definitely make it. Oh, muddy now. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Uh, got you your brooch back. I won't. I paid a hundred dollars for it. Probably best not. Hey, what are you doing now, right this moment? Why, yes. Here it comes. <laughs> Date invitation. Well, I was wondering if you wanted to do yes. something. Head to the theater. Date, 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 date. Let's go on the. D wait, let's see. Let's wait and see what Arthur's. Can I? There we go. So we've got accept and decline. One of them will start auto filling. It's accept. He wants to accept. That's his natural hey. inclination. That's what I'm Me? taking it. That, that, that means. Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, well, we're still looking pretty you. presentable, I think. Don't I think we get away with it. <laughs> You're an idiot. In this day and age. But you'll always friend. be my friend. Oh, well, of course Mary. I'm your friend, but you ain't always But Mary, what if we loved me? each other? If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... What if you came over here and loved on Arthur? So, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman. <laughs> this is a great start to the well, date. The You're a terrible woman, Mrs. Linton, and I hate you. <laughs> well, here we are. Sort of beautiful. At the theater. Gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. And now to enjoy the great theatrical offerings. <laughs> Let's just press Y, exit immediately. Uh. Welcome! <laughs> and thank you 
All right, now for the comedy signings of Aldridge T. Abington. Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cheer a sarcastic amount. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Woo! Aldridge T. Abington. I would create so, in this locality. Just starting or not? Are you in a rush, Arthur? Show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement. Give us more. Curiosity, fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For <laughs> this is the best. That will see you through the winter better than any packed larder. He's going to be amazed when actual acts start doing stuff. Goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a Jack Honeycutt says noticeable difference for Red Dead Redemption 2 on Series X. Uh, it loads in 35 seconds. So that's, I mean, that's noticeable. Make a move. What are you insinuating, game? Arthur would never. All right, here's the band. Woo. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Little song I like to call Mangoes and Oil. Everybody loves mangoes and oil. They come from Roadstop, Mary. time just to eat my mangoes and use my oil for industrial products. It works, you see, just as well as a mango. They are tasty. All right, I've had enough of this. Boo! Stop singing about geography! Well, friends, we have reached the end of this of this wonderful Morgan Monday. Thank you for joining me. It was good to be back. Glad to have you back. Um, hopefully we can keep doing these. Just keep coming back on Monday. I probably should play some Xbox Series X games. That would probably be something I should do. Um, but yeah, we should have more of that. We've got some more stuff coming up this week. Um, some more Series X content. So don't you worry. It is coming, and I think we're going to be playing D&D on Friday, um, a live stream. So, yeah, live D&D, coming up on Friday. Win, win shot says, Andy, shut up! <laughs> I'm, spo I'm spoiling the good music. Um, so, yeah, I will, I will leave you with this. And I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. Hope you uh, have a great rest of your week. And I'll see you again soon. I'm going to do another antagonize. Sandini stinks. Did you hear what I said, Mary? I said Sandini. Sandini stinks. <laughs> Is that. Do you want me to make a move on you now? What about this? Ooh. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. I will see you again soon. Bye bye.